Can I? No, you're not gonna. There we go. That's that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of let myself out there, so I didn't get stuck again. Let's. Uh, wow, this is a beautiful spot to land. I would imagine this is pretty close to what our moon landing was kind of like. It was just this really cool kind of flat area to land on. Jebediah is loving this though. Let's plant our Project Destiny flag. With this, it marks the uh, one giant leap for Kerbin Kind. Um, uh, first, or actually, yeah, first moon landing site. Seems flat. No signs of life. There we go. Cool. EVA report. We'll keep that data. We will take that surface sample. Nice. And let's saunter back over to our craft. Now, for the most part, oh, let's get that out of the way. For the most part, I don't think Jebediah really sees too much. He's going to have a bit of a look around, though. We have plenty of time to get back. I mean, sure, the people back at our mission base have have ideas for what Jebediah needs to do next, but for the most part, it's it can wait. He's he's enjoying the moon. He can see the planet Kerbin, and it is glorious. Also, the stars he's noticing look so much brighter when you don't have an atmosphere sitting there blocking the way also the sunset or sunrise as it may be is gorgeous and he's he's realizing that at least in this area there is no life forms there's nothing there's 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 no sign of anybody ever being here that doesn't mean that they haven't been here that just means that his current landing site nothing quite flat you would think at such a flat area this would be the perfect spot to build a moon base, right? But there's nothing here, so he's going to keep his flag there. And the guys back at the base are telling him, You know what, Jebediah? It's time to come home. And he doesn't want to come home because it is it is a glorious sight, that. In fact, right, uh, right, the, well, right, come on, there we go. Let's, uh, let's put this away. Right there, I am going to turn this into a uh whoops into a wallpaper for you guys and i'll make sure i put it on our website and you can uh, pick that up with a cheap amount of points Okay, so let's go to our staging thing. I had to remove some of the UI, so it made it a little easier. But for the most part, we should have plenty of fuel to get back, right? We're going to quick save now that we've gained a ton of science stuff. Uh, we still have that one canister to do, which we'll do on our way back. The Yeah, let's let's go. I think we're... Are we on a good plane here? We're, I mean, we're close enough, right? Sure. Let's do this thing. So we want to take off this direction. Now, unlike the planet Kerbin, you can really start your gravity turn right away on, on lunar bodies, lunar bodies. And for the most part, you should be able to do it without, uh, without using too much of your fuel. Now that's about 20, so I wanted about 30, perfect. Now, once we get up there, I will, whoops, I will use the rest of my momentum to get me an orbit. So right about there. Okay, cool. And we're going to prograde. So this will get us our orbit. You know, it's fun to note is usually with missions, with space missions that we have, you know, IRL in real life, they typically start falling back to Earth before they get their orbit, which is just, you know, 
it's because the planet is so big. But in Kerbal Space Program, because Kerbin is so small, you typically get an orbit like long before you've passed your apoapsis. So it's just a little interesting thing that, that ends up happening there. Okay, so now let's start our maneuver. And what I want to do is kind of burn outwards like so. Boom. Okay. That is beautiful. I don't actually need to burn too much to get that maneuver done either. So that is going to work out well for us. Let us... I'm kind of curious. If I took this and moved it... Ah, see, that's more like what I was looking for. A little closer to the planet. If I sped it up, it does that. Okay, so I want it about right there. And it's about the same burn, but I end up being quite a bit closer to the actual planet. Cool. So let's do that. Let's uh, speed up our time a bit. And once we get to the maneuver node, we'll make our burn, of course. So, 40 seconds, eh, I think we could start pretty much dead on here. 10, 5, okay, let's adjust, and 3, 2, 1, go. Perfect, this is not using much of our fuel. We got our maneuver done. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, we're going to quick save now. Probably should have quick saved before making the maneuver, but, you know, it happens. So this will put us into an orbit around Kerbin, a large orbit, really large orbit. So, boom, okay. Now, what I'm going to do here, did I just accidentally stage? I did not. I hit the space bar, but thankfully the staging thing was not actually up. What I'm going to do here is I want to, uh, oh, maybe I did. It's not letting me click on any of this. There it goes. I just reloaded and went back to where I was. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to keep that data. We want to review these reports. I'm going to transmit that. I'm going to keep that. Can I crew report here? Yes, I can. Transmit that out. And then I'm going to EVA report real quick. Now, keep in mind, right, this was one biome that we went to. On usual space missions to the moon you could probably get to one extra one so you have a total of two potentially three biomes there and you come back with so much science that you can get a craft good enough to do a good five or six other biomes with that especially when you get to minmus the maneuvers there are a lot easier to make with that so with that in mind how does that make sense in the story right well, specifically with Project Destiny, you know, this is one of those things where he's coming back, Jebediah is coming back with all of this data, all the science data that he's bringing back with him. It's, it's a pretty huge deal that he's managed to land on the moon safely the second time and get all of this, you know, research data from the stuff that they've provided him that the wow that was really cool you see how like the three planets there i assume that's what that is uh basically what's going to happen with this is i can't find Kerbin, and the scientists are going to take all this data even though he didn't land necessarily in a spot that had oh this is going to throw us way off here i'll show you what i mean uh maybe not there it goes ah we're fine good so they're, they've taken all this data and they're going to try to create other crafts with this data, right? So they know that we had just about enough fuel to make one mission. So how do we how do we make this a bit more efficient? And that is the next step. So as far as moon missions are concerned, that's the next step. They they need to find a way of allowing him enough fuel that he can explore the moon further. Because he only landed in one spot. He got a, a high overview of some other spots. But as we've seen previously, it's very easy to miss stuff. Especially when you're just flying over it. Like, for instance, the multiple missions that we launched before the Kerbins realized... 
the Kerbals realized that there was a a base out on that island just off the coast of where they were at. Which, you know, how could they miss something so stupid like that? Well, you gotta know that they're they're pretty focused here. They're really focused on one thing, which is uh, getting two other bodies within their solar system here. Because doing so will allow them a lot of things. It'll allow them to get a lot of scientific data back. It'll allow them to discover some of their origins, whether it Anyways, it'll allow them to get a lot of data on what all of this stuff is actually doing here. So, whoop. that's going to use up the rest of my fuel, but it's totally fine. So, it, uh, you know, being able to create any type of crafts that will get them uh, to other planets, that will get them uh, to other solar systems potentially in the future and just generally they're really focused on trying to figure out what exactly is happening with you know for the most part what exactly is happening with how they were created who these other kerbals were and all that stuff and in order to understand that more they just need to do more exploring of the solar system and honestly that's not too much to ask for you know they i think that they can do that pretty well but the fact that they're so focused on that kind of stuff means that they miss stupid things right like like the the stuff on that that little island or potentially other things that they've missed on Kerbin that will eventually discover i'm sure so it's it's interesting how such a focus on something can change the perspective of of what is actually happening um you know with their scientific research with everything that happens you know it's it's as i said to begin with motive dictates a lot uh, you know your motive's going to change the way that you behave the way that you uh, generally set your goals for yourself so because the motive of the these kerbals especially is to find out their creation and how you know what what happened at least for the synethians then for the most part, it's going to change everything that they do, and and they're going to miss stupid things that they may not have considered in the past. That being said, though, I'm also sure that our Kerbals are quite smart, and we'll be able to come up with some amazing scientific discoveries that will allow them to travel quickly between planets and also colonize other worlds, which is kind of the goal of this series in particular. So, that's kind of how all that works, and this re-entry has gone a hundred percent better <laughs> than the previous one i'm actually really curious where the heck we're landing hard to tell Ooh. we're on a continent where's our space center i think it's off here it might no it's hard to tell. The space center may be under all these clouds. It's either there or off over here. It's probably right there, actually. Yeah, uh, in this general area. How about that? I think that's where the space center is. We're basically right on the other side of the planet. I'm okay with that. Uh, will we be able to get any extra data from doing an EVA here? Potentially. Whoop. Oh, okay. Let's see where we landed. Curry port. Nope, just Kerbin, Kerbin Island, so we've been here before. That's fine. Let's recover our vessel. The Synethians have recovered the vessel, you know, unprovoked from the Materians. you got to imagine that at one point, the, the Synethians are going to land in a spot that has got a lot of Naturians, where the Naturians are going to plan to head them off at the pass, as you will, and uh, manage to get to the craft before the synethians that that'll be a bad day when that happens explore duna explore ike rescue that poor kerbal heavy duty landing gear uh, and just a couple other tests we actually have a lot of funds i'm not too concerned about that and we have a lot of science that we need to start spending so let's get some oh i forgot to uh research that so yeah there's another one for the most part I've installed some other mods, and I haven't picked up that stuff yet. So let's get this. Um, 
these are all really nice to have so that's the Rocco Max stuff. We need the fuel lines, as you well know. I really, 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 really like my um, my asparagus staging. There's a lot of the infernal robotic stuff, so we'll use some of that. Let's get this. We have 300 left. What I really want, we may not get. Oh, we're not going to have enough science to get the... Oh well, okay, so what what should we get here? Let's think about that, right? I can't afford those. I did get the orange engines, that will help us out. I also got the boosters there. Uh, we have the fuel lines, that will help out. We have new boosters to get up. We have some better fuel tanks. Good. We Do we have... Okay, I, okay we have some adapters. Do uh, okay. These are bigger fairings, I think. Those that was fuselage fairings, though. Uh, now that we have bigger tanks, we could do bigger fairings. Do we have? Th this is the main thing I want. Do we have decouplers that are the big tank size? Otherwise, we are not going to be in a good position here. Okay, we have the big fuel tank there. I don't see the decouplers. We may already have them. Doesn't look like it. Where does that come from, actually? Here? Space plane parts? No? Nope. Nope. And no. I have no idea, actually, where it comes from. Larger landing gear? Maybe that will be a thing that we want to try. Because we did get... Did we get a bigger engine? We have the Rocco Max, sure. But did we get... The smaller one. Yeah, we got the poodle. Ooh, we could make a larger type lander, which will have more fuel, which should allow us to get to different spots. So if we get bigger landing gear, that may help us out more. I think that is our new goal. Let's get that. Well, I don't know. I don't know. If we pick that up, I think we can do a lot more as far as... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That'll help out a ton. Was there the deck couplers in here, though? I, oh, there it is. I should have gotten it. Dang. 33 science. It's okay. I have plans on how I could get a bit more science here. Now, how do I want to do this? We could go to Minmus. Uh, I think we have an active mission to go to Minmus. We do. But I don't want to do that, right? Minmus. Who wants to go to Minmus when you can get to the other stuff of the moon? Let's create a better lander. And doing so will get us more science because we get to go to the different parts of the moon, grab more of the science there, obviously. But uh, what I want to do is create a better aircraft so we can explore more of Kerbin. But I need a little bit more science to do that. So we're going to create a better moon lander, which will allow us to pick up the rest of the science there. Hopefully, at least, you know, two or three other biomes, which will be a significant chunk, like maybe 800 science. All right, let's start that then.